Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something really interesting. As you can see, I'm joined with Scrapman, and we're actually going to be messing around with the Bombay block and uh, seeing who can potentially make the most effective, most explosive bombing vehicle using that particular weapon. And me and Scrapman are going to go off and build our own separate designs for this. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see how much we differ in builds and design. Are you yep. ready, Scrapman? I'm ready. All right, let's get to it. All right. All right, guys. So me and Scrapman have actually gone off into separate calls right now because we do not want to communicate whilst building. And I actually have a really good idea for my design. I'm actually going to be building a replica of the B-52 bomber. And I think smacking a bunch of bomb bays underneath that build is going to be epic. For this build, I think the large cockpit is appropriate. I'm not trying to make this too realistic in terms of design. Uh, we're gonna try and go for function a little bit more around this time. And uh, you know what? This plane is very, very big. I'm actually using a reference image. Okay, I think that length here should be sufficient. And then I wanna do the same thing underneath as well. All right, now that we have copious amounts of rounded 2x4s, I can start filling in the rest of the shape here. I have to use a selection of 2x4s and a 1x4 because uh, the gap here is actually odd width. That's looking uh, pretty neat to me. Nice fuselage. Let's focus on the tail now. So let's grab a piston. I like this little nifty trick, guys, where we uh, use the pistons to our advantage. Yeah, you know what? looks pretty good to me i think that's the right size for this build now we just gotta fill it all in now that's a pretty fine looking tail if you ask me guys oh and it fits so nicely look at that Whoa. now that we have that finished it's time to move on to the wings okay so the wings are pretty much finished i added the engines here we're just gonna be using four because i think it will be powerful enough now it's time for the part i have been waiting for we need to add our bombays and you know what guys we are going to absolutely spam a whole amount of these inside here wow that is a lot of bombays whoa Okay, I've actually saved some complexity too because I do want to finish off the missing pieces. Let's get that finished really quickly. And let's check our center of mass really quick. Oh yeah, it's it's way behind the lift because of the uh, the weight of these bombays. So we're going to smack a bunch of white blocks in the front of this thing. And the forces looks pretty good to me. So let's uh, let's do some testing. I haven't had a chance to test this thing out just yet. Off we go. Surely we have enough power, right? Yeah, we have enough power. It's because we have so much lift. Oh, this thing is huge. Okay. All right. Now, now let's see it. You reckon this is going to crash the game? I don't want to do that. Scrapman's building over there. <laughs> I don't think he'll be too happy. You know what? Screw it. Let's do it. Let's see these bombs go. Whoa. And off they go. They're going down into the sea. Can I see them explode? Wow, there we go. You know what? Let's do that again, but a little bit closer. Bombs away. Oh, that's explosive. But I do want to do a slight modification because it seems like all these bombs just drop four bombs each at the same time. And I'm thinking if I mess around with the timing on all of these, we can get a really long carpet bomb going. Okay, so all of these are now on a timed delay. And I actually have 50 bombays exactly, guys. So let's give this a test. Off we go. We're flying and uh, it's nice and smooth. So these are not on a toggle. So I do have to hold down the key bind, which is A. There we go. Holy moly. This is... The longer I hold it, the more drop. <laughs> Holy smokes. It's not quite the effect I wanted. Because it's taking too long for all of the bombays to get involved. We're definitely getting somewhere. Look how many bombs I'm dropping. That's incredible. Oh, sheer power. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's not good. 
Okay, well, back to the drawing board. Now those timings have been fixed, this thing should be the ultimate bombing machine. So let's get it in the air. Here we go. And bombs away. Whoa. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, this is definitely uh, definitely it. We, uh, we found the strategy, guys. And let's just watch them fall out of the sky. In a very satisfying way. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That is pretty insane. Well, now that we have this thing working, let's uh, glamorize it a bit. You know, let's add some paint. This is the paint job finished. Let's go show Scrapman. All right, Scrapman, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I can hear you. Good, good. I have finished my uh, bombing vehicle. I have as well. All right, I'm very excited to see what direction you decided to go into. <laughs> I think you're gonna like it. So let me show you mine. I base mine off the B-52 bomber. All right. Yes, it's a big boy. And that yeah, it looks has like a, a big lot of boy. Bombs. It's actually using 50 bomb bays. And I'll, I'll give it a test flight really quick. So uh, <clears throat> if you could uh, move yourself. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow, look at that. Okay, Scrapman, be ready. This I'm ready. I'm ready for it. Here it is. And bombs away. Oh, wow. Those look <laughs> like... It looks like you fired a stream of bullets. It's very satisfying. I can tell you that. <laughs> wow. That is actually really interesting on how that goes. I didn't get to see it hit much because it kind of went off the cliff and into the water. Here, but... <laughs> I'll do a, a second oh, there you attempt. Go. What? Yeah, that looks a, so crazy. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Wow. I'm glad I predicted that you were going to uh, build a plane like that and uh, go for something that looks like something real. Uh, <laughs> yes. I went in a very different direction and uh, just, just like how things normally go, I went for pure function over form. Mm -hmm. And this is my carpet bomber. Whoa, <laughs> what is this? Oh, uh, wow. So this thing has, I think, 122 bomb bays, uh, which <laughs> I think adds up to 488 bombs that are going to launch. It goes up and spins like this to ensure maximum spread. So now oh. when I press the bomb button. Oh, no. What? <laughs> what? That's incredible. <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. And uh, the interesting thing about it is it actually is a controllable vehicle. So if I wanted to move over to the uh, general area, you can see I can actually move myself over here. Uh-huh. Uh, just like this. Yeah. And if I want to head back, I can actually turn around and head back in this direction if I want to. That's incredible. You got like a gyro-centered seat there. Yeah. Yeah, the wow. seat does not spin with the uh, with the creation, and I can point it in whatever direction I want to change my direction of thrust. Wow, a really interesting, almost like a Beyblade. <laughs> I know, it's basically a carpet bombing bla Beyblade, that's a good way of putting it. <laughs> well, all we need now is some kind of target to uh, blow up. Alright, so we've picked our island, which is the destination we're going to be uh, blowing up this target here. And you know what? I think the wise thing to do is actually place a marker with the new feature so I can see a giant beam of light now. The question is, who is going to attempt this first? Uh, why don't you go first? <laughs> All right, it would be my pleasure. Let me uh, spawn upon the cliff. Uh, I'm gonna take off in three, two, one. Let's go. All right, yeah, I see it. I see the beam of light. My little beacon of hope. <laughs> Oh, oh, my yaw is a little too strong. You know what? It's fine. All right, here he comes. The approach looks good. And here he comes. bombs away. Ooh, uh oh, uh oh. Ooh. Oh, okay. I thought wow. you went too far at first. Yeah, me too. You did. I, I guess you did a little bit because it was your very first one that hit it, and the rest of them went past it. So you did fire a little bit later than uh, you could have, but you took out yeah. pretty much a third of the entire target. Let's see the damage. Wow, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, check that out. Pretty, yeah, you pretty much landed, your la your first barrage went right here and just swooped right through the entire target, kind of laser cutting it with bombs. It was pretty awesome. <laughs> so if I uh, dropped my bombs a little earlier, I might have had a little bit more damage. Yeah. 
All right, I am taking off from the start zone, and uh, I think I might take a little bit longer. All that smoke, it looks like you're breaking the sound barrier. <laughs> I know, I can create my own sonic boom effect. Whoops, oh, a little bit hard to keep a consistent trajectory here. So now my height is definitely gonna change things. So I'm curious mm -hmm. what the ideal height is gonna be for this. I'm just gonna swoop over and uh, release the bombs when I feel is a good time. You're pretty much guaranteed to uh, hit this thing anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm just thing. wondering how much of it's gonna be left, you know? Like how big of mm -hmm. a how big of a gap is there gonna be between destruction points? All right, here we go. All goes. right, I'm getting Making close. All right, I think this might be good. I'm just gonna drop the bombs. Here we go. Oh, there we go. It's raining. Ooh. Ooh, not a lot of damage, actually. Yeah. Huh. You know what? Too I much think it might spread. have been too high. <laughs> yep, too much spread. All right, what if I do it again? Now, oh, how's it going to look? There yeah. we go. Oh, that was yeah. a little bit better. Uh, I, I, I could just keep going. I could just, I could stay in place <laughs> and just, I just, I just keep carpet bombing, I guess. It's raining bombs. But I think as far as, like, one pass goes, yours is definitely, yours definitely does way better in one go. Yeah, right. At least it's focused more on concentrated, one, yeah. Yeah, you, you can concentrate more on one target. I do a little bit of damage to a lot of places. You do a lot of damage to one place. <laughs> All right, wow. so now I'm kind of curious. I kind of want to spread a few targets across the field over there, and uh, let's let's see the differences now between a single target versus multiple targets. I got three targets lined up for you. Um, I put them all in a straight line, so that way it's not going to be completely impossible for you to hit all of them, I hope. And I'm thinking with this approach, I might actually have to uh, be a little higher so I can get more spread, because it mm. is pretty spread out. Yeah. All right, well, let's give it a try. All right, Scrap Man, I'm taking off. All right, I'm ready for you. Here we go. Here he comes. Do I see any of them? Oh, you're really high. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dropping now. I, oh. oh, I kind of, I kind of missed. Oh. oh. Man, that is so satisfying. You completely I... destroyed that last target. Yeah, a little bit late on the drop. I was also a little bit off, and I kind yeah. of threw my here. bombs. I'll, re I'll repair this last target here. Go for another pass, see if you can line up a little bit better. All right, we're going to do a retask on this bombing. We need to swing around. Are you coming from the other direction? Uh, I'm oh, trying. you're coming from the yeah, other I'm direction. Yeah, I'm coming from this side. <laughs> here we go. All right, here comes the bombs. A little bit off, I think. Ooh. Oh, we hit the middle. Oh, one. you actually kind of went like right in between. Here they, we go. We're gonna, we're gonna go again. <laughs> oh, where are they coming from? Oh my goodness! Wait, how did you just go from the same direction twice like that? I did a loop. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm really surprised at how concentrated all those bombs are. Like they they really focus in on one spot. I don't have the spread, but I do have the concentrated power. Yeah, that's like. That, that is a, so much damage in one spot. Let's do one more try here. Bombs he away. Oh. oh, slightly too late, but yeah. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit of damage. Not quite effective this time around. Yeah, I think that was more... I mean, I, I don't know if you can hit a, more than one very effectively. Right, oh boy. I kind of just have to focus on one of these targets. Yeah. All right, I am taking off and heading in your direction. There he goes in his fidget spinner of death. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure I'm expecting to be able to damage all of them. I don't know mm -hmm. how much damage to all of them I'm going to be able to do, though. Depending on your altitude, this should be uh, very interesting. Yeah, I definitely got to I gotta watch my altitude here for sure. There we go. He's going nice all and right. high. Is this going to be enough for spread. all of them? You know all what? Right. Maybe. Here we go. I'm going well, to let myself slow down a little bit here. All right, get a lot of spin and drop the bombs. There we go. There we go. Oh, all right. Damage on every single target. Nice. There we, there we go. go. It's raining. I love it. Wow, so epic. <laughs> oh, it's still going. Yeah, I'm a little bit rocket. I, I think I broke some pieces, so I'm not uh, completely symmetrical anymore. But oh, there we go. A little bit more power. of a concentrated fire now. Yeah, on that the closer one you are, it's definitely. Yeah, wow, well, yeah, yeah. losing frames now. There we go. Completely decimating the middle target. That doesn't even exist yeah, anymore. Yeah, that end one. Oh, there we go. There's some more. 
This is crazy. This is so crazy to watch, too. Yep, I mean, I if as long as I don't get shot out of the sky, I pretty much I I, I think I'm a pretty uh, intimidating force to be hovering above your base. <laughs> How close can you go? <laughs> yeah. All right, ready? Yeah! There wow. we go. Completely destroyed. So effective. <laughs> Almost. There's still a little bit left, but all right, now it's gone. Uh, and then I can probably just destroy myself here. There we go. Yep, yep, there we go. <laughs> I can destroy everything. All right, wow, we d we definitely built two completely different bombers, and they had very, very different strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, that's true. Mine had a more concentrated uh, approach to the target, but less spread. And Scrapman, yours was the complete opposite. You had a lot of spread, but you can kind of control your concentration of explosions, which mm -hmm. is interesting. Yeah, yours kind of looked like it was a minigun with bombs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like just firing much. bombs as projectiles. All right, well, this was a really fun challenge. Definitely. And uh, guys, you should definitely uh, leave your opinions on this down below on, on what you thought, who was the more effective bombing machine. <laughs> and, whoa. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, if you liked it, leave a like and why not consider subscribing, it's free! But anyway, that's enough from me, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!